So Kyle B, Kyle A, Justin, Star, time for class. So let's begin with the weekly conversation. What is the meaning of the 228? We commemorate it to remember the massacred people. We commemorate it to remember the massacred people. Okay, Ethan, what is the meaning of the 228? Ethan, can you repeat? What is the meaning of the 228? Remember. Remember. The. The. Massacred. Okay, Henry, what is the meaning of the 228? Good, Dora, what is the meaning of the 228? And Pinky, what is the meaning of the 228? Good job. So, cat class, what day is this? It is... Wednesday, thank you. And what is today's date? It is February 22nd. What year is it? It is 2023. Okay, can you read today's lesson, number one? Number one, Ethan. Number two, conversation. Number three? Number four, Country Mouse, pages 14 to 15. What is today's homework, number one? 167 to 169. And number two? Okay, good job. Has everyone written today's lesson and today's homework? Ethan, are you done? Can I erase? Yes. Okay. So take out your communication books and let's go to week 277, turn to your weekly report. Week 277. Where do you study English? Pinky, where do you study English? What class are you in? Good. What week are we on? Week 200 and... Okay, what level are you at? Okay, good job. Who is your English teacher? Okay, so let's read holidays and festivals. Holidays and festivals. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. It is a day for love and friendship. We can give Valentine's cards to people we love. Cards can have hearts, flowers, lace, and pretty poems on them. One very old poem is this. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Sugar is sweet. And so are you. Okay, good. So, cat class, Americans start with English book. Hello, Jason, how are you? Good. Okay. So take out your communication book. Cat class, Americans start with English book. Five. What unit are we on? Unit 20. What is the language structure? Both, uh, etc. with countable nouns. Is there any 
electronic thread. Okay, so let's review your vocabulary. What's another word for vocabulary? Word. Indefinite pronouns. Hi class, indefinite pronouns. Okay, number one, countable nouns. A book, a bag, an apple, an egg. Uncountable nouns. Money, water, rice. Juice. Okay, part C. One, both, all, a few, many, a lot of, plenty of, a few of, none of, all of the. Okay, each, every, one pair of shoes. One pair of shoes is for men. The shoes are for men. Thin, thick, a square, a bead, a piper, history, Germany, a rat. Calling Raj. Sorry. Fight, fought, fought, a nest, bite, bit, bitten, a city, mayor, a meeting, decide, what to do, a stranger, reach, a heel. Okay, so let's practice. When I say your name, I will say a number and you will read that word, okay? Jason, G number one. G number one. Ethan, G number two. History. Okay, Henry, G number five. Okay, Pinky, G number eleven. Dora, G number nine. Okay, a mayor. Good job. Do you have any questions about your weekly report? No? Okay, if you don't have any questions, you may turn in your communication books. Take out your student books, go to unit 20. page 69. Okay, let's start to read.
they were unhappy because all the houses had a lot of rats. They, they were very big rats. They fought the dogs and killed the cats. They ate all the food that they could find. They made their nests inside people's hats. They even bit children. One day, the mayor of the city asked all the people to come to a meeting. They talked for a long time, but they could not decide what to do. When they were talking, they heard a knock on the door. Come in, said the mayor. The door opened and the stranger came in. He was a tall, thin man. He wore a long coat that reached down to his heels. <coughs> half of it was red and half was yellow. <coughs> he was carrying a pipe. He said to the mayor, When I play my pipe, I can make animals run after me. If I take away all the rats from your city, <clears throat> Will you give me a thousand pieces of gold? <clears throat> a thousand pieces, said the mayor. <clears throat> we'll give you fifty thousand. <clears throat> okay, good job. So now can you read? Pinky, can you start the Piper part one? Thank you. 
Okay, good job. Do you have any questions about the story? No? Okay, so before we answer the questions at the bottom, let me ask you some questions. What is the name of the... Or where is the city? Where is the city that the story takes place? Where is the city? Yes, thank you. Germany, good. And the people in the city, how did they feel? How were they? How did they feel, the people in the city? Were they happy? Were they unhappy? Jason, what do you think? The people in the city, how did they feel? Okay, they were all unhappy. Okay, good job. And how did the man look, the stranger? Can you describe the stranger? Okay, a tall, thin man. Thank you, Dora. Okay, so now we can start to answer the questions. <clears throat> okay, let's begin with A. So it says... Why is this story not in the history books? So why is this story not in the history books? What do you think? Why is the story not in the history books? Can you find the answer in your books? No. Oh, why is the story not in your history books? Okay, because it is not true. So it's not in your history books because it is not true. And in your history books, all the stories are true, right? Because it's history. Okay, look at B. Why were the people unhappy? So remember I asked you, how did the people feel in the city? The people in the city in Germany, how did they feel? They were unhappy, yes, but why were they unhappy? Because? Why were the people unhappy? Can you look in your textbooks, What's in your student books? Why do you think the people were unhappy? Because? Ethan, Jason, what do you think? Why were the people unhappy? Okay. Because all, all of the houses had a lot of rats. So all of the houses had a lot of rats. A lot of rats. I think if your houses had a lot of rats, you would also be unhappy, right? So they were unhappy because all of the houses had a lot of rats. Why were the rats able to fight dogs? Why were the rats able to fight dogs? Remember it says, <clears throat> they fought dogs and killed the cat. They ate all the food, and they even bit children. And why could they do this? What was it about the rats that made them able to fight the dogs and kill the cats? Do you see the answer in your story? Do you see the answer? Henry. Okay, because they were very big rats. So they, so see, because they were very big rats. So the rats were so big that they could fight with the dogs, they could kill the cats, they ate all the food, 
And they could even bite the children. They were so big. So D, where did the rats make their nests? Where did the rats make their nests? So we would answer, they made their nest. Remember, we use past tense to answer. So they made their nest where? Jason, Ethan, do you see the answers in your unit books? Where did the rats make their nest? Okay, so they made their nest inside people's hats. Inside people's hats. Okay, so these were very big rats making nests inside of people's hats. And that's why the people were very unhappy. So let's see if you were paying attention. Pinky, why is this story not in the history books? Good, because it is not true. Dora, why were the people unhappy? Because? Okay, so all of the houses had a lot of rats in them. Ethan, why were the rats able to fight dogs? Ethan, you can take So why were the rats able to fight dogs? Ethan, why were the rats able to fight dogs? Because some of the outfit had the last foot. No. Remember, Ethan, it's C. Why were the rats able to fight the dogs. Think about their size. They were very big rats. Okay, so they were able to fight the dogs because they were very big rats. Okay. And Jason, where did the rats make their nests? They made their nests inside people's hats. Inside people's hats, okay. So these were very big rats making their nests inside of people's house inside of people's hats and they lived in people's houses and the people were unhappy okay so let's look at e why did the people talk about the rats at the meeting why did the people talk about the rats at the meeting so how do we answer how do we answer what do you think the people how would you answer the people Dora, what do you think? The people talk or talked? What do you think, Dora? Talk or talk? Good, the people talked. So the people talked about the rats about the rats at the meeting. Remember, when we answer these questions, we need to use complete sentence, right? So the people talked about the rats at the meeting because, why do you think, because? Good job, because they could not decide what to do. They could not decide what to do. They could not decide what to do. Okay, may I erase A, B, and C? Have you written them? Ethan, A, B, and C, can I erase? Yes. Jason, can I erase A, B, C? Okay, so it is E, B, and C. And then we will review them 
when we are finished. Ethan, can I erase the? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now let's look at F. What happened when they were talking? What happened when they were talking? So they were in the meeting talking about the rats. They didn't know what to do. And then when they were talking, what did they, what happened? Okay. So someone knocked on the door. Someone knocked on the door when they were talking. Someone knocked on the door when they were talking. So, Ethan, why did the people talk about the rats at the meeting? Why? Why did the people talk about the rats at the meeting? Okay, thank you, Ethan. Jason, what happened when they were talking? Okay, good. So next, <clears throat> it says, what color was the stranger's coat? So how would we answer? What color was the stranger's coat? How would we answer in complete sentence? Henry, do you know? What color was the stranger's coat? How would we answer using complete sentence? Okay, so we can say it was, or we can say the stranger's, the stranger's coat was red and yellow, or it was red and yellow. Good. The stranger's coat was red and yellow or it was red and yellow. So H, what happens when the stranger plays his pipe? What happens when the stranger plays his pipe? So when we answer. Yes, Dora? Okay. But how would we start a complete sentence? Because pay attention to the question. It says, what happens when the stranger plays his pipe? Not what happened. It asks, what happens? So we would answer, when he, okay, when he plays his pipe, when he plays his pipe, what happens? What happens when the stranger plays his pipe? If you look at this story, what happens? What does he say happens when he plays his pipe? Okay, animals run after him. So when the, he plays his pipe, animals run after him. Animals run after him. Good. Okay, let's look at I. How much money did the stranger want? How much money did the stranger want? So if you look at the story, at the end of the story, okay, he wanted, he wanted 50,000, sorry, he wanted a thousand pieces of gold. He wanted a thousand pieces of gold. A thousand pieces of gold. He wanted a thousand pieces of gold. That's a lot of gold. 
And how much did the mayor promise to give him? So he wanted a thousand pieces, but how much gold did the mayor promise to give him? How do we answer? The mayor. Okay, the mayor promised to give him 50 50,000. 50,000. 50,000 pieces of gold. Or 50,000. Okay. So the mayor promised to give him 50,000 pieces of gold. So then, let's review. Henry, why is this story not in the history books? Okay, so the story is not in the history books because it is not true. Jason, why were the people unhappy? Okay. Ethan, why were the rats able to fight dogs? Okay, so they were able to fight dogs because they were very big. Pinky, where did the rats make their nests? Okay, and Dora, why did the people talk about rats at the meeting? They could not decide what to do. Ethan... What happened when they were talking? What happened when they were talking? Because because they were at the meeting talking about the rats. They couldn't decide what they wanted to do. And then something happened. Okay. Someone Okay, someone knocked on the door when they were talking. Henry what color was the stranger's coat? It was red and yellow. Dora, what happens what happens when the stranger plays his pipe? Okay, so when he plays his pipe, animals run after him. And how much money did the stranger want, Pinky? Okay, you wanted a thousand pieces of gold. And cut class, how, how many pieces of gold, or how much money, did the mayor promise to give him? So he wanted, um, he wanted a thousand pieces, but how much did the mayor promise to give him? Okay, he promised to give him 50,000 pieces of gold. Good job. Does everyone have the answers? Yes? Okay. Do you have any questions about your answers? Any questions? Did you all write the answers? Sorry, you have, okay, good job. Ethan, good. Hey, Jason, you wrote all of the answers? Okay, good. I know that Henry has the answers, Pinky. Do you remember all of the answers? Okay, good, good job. Okay. So you can put away your student books. You may put away your student books. So Kyle A, Kyle B, Justin, and Star, you may put away your student books and take out City Mouse and Country Mouse. You may take out City Mouse and Country Mouse. 
let's turn to pages. Let's turn to pages 14 and 15. 14 and 15. Okay, so first I will read and you will repeat, okay? The next morning, a rooster sings a wake-up song. Cock-a-doodle-doo. It's time to get up. Cock-a-doodle-doo. It's time to get up. Okay. So, Dora, can you read first? 